Okay. So I'm gonna be making remove rule and add rule commands in this beautiful video we have here. Now I've already been testing with this, but don't look at that yet. Do not look at that yet, just yet. Now, um, what are we doing? Import get. Well, we'll need that later. For now, let's make the command. So for now, I have two ways of doing this, but I'm gonna use the second way, the better way, right now. So this is gonna be a little bit of a Python class because. It's simple, but it's not at the same time, you know. Now, as usual, I'm going to name it the test command, ctx. Now we're not going to just put ctx. If you're doing if you're doing this in a cog, then obviously you want to do commands commands dot command. Then you want to put self dot c self slash self ctx basic cog you know you, you do what you gotta do and all that but other than just self and cdx like you know normally other than just you know like arg1 you know just some argument we're gonna put this so for example CTX is the message. So CTX is basically the first argument, which is the prefix and test. That is CTX. So if you leave CTX, it will output whatever you want it to output. You put an embed there and so on. If you do this, for example, make a variable. Variable is going to be role. Role is discord dot row simple simple now we're gonna do user user equals discord dot member let's just put that pretty basic pretty simple it is what it is now you could also do this I'm pretty sure you can do this you could just take off these two and you have your free arguments right here you just do role equals discord dot role and so on you can do that and it would work just as fine at least from what I've what I've been told and done so far but we're gonna assign the variables inside of these little bad boys right here right the parameter so discord dot rule and since we have it in this in this um how do I call it we have it in this little uh I'm not gonna waste your time and say uh multiple times so um but since role is first and then user is first we do for example we send the name of the role and the name of the user we are giving the role so i mean you'll see it in the chat when we test this out so await um What's it called again? Add roles await user dot add roles role. Very 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 simple. Very simple. I'll explain all this later if it seems like it's very confusing to you I mean that's fine but 
you get it. It's it's very simple, very very simple. Now we just put the S string, F string, and we do the usual. <sighs> okay. We mention these this stuff. So successfully given. Oh no. Successfully given. Roll dot mention to user dot mention. These two are arguments, right? If, for example, people do ctx, which is the prefix and test, then the role, and then the user, it will work perfectly fine, and whatever role they passed in and whatever user they passed into the chat, it will go into this, and the bot will output it as the role which is being mentioned but you'll understand it all once I actually do this this does work and to be honest I could just create the remove role command right now so let's change this to add role right and we could simply just do remove roles successfully okay successfully removed role dot mention from user dot mention easy as that easy as that now we just put our periods right there, make the bot look a little bit more professional. And we change this to remove. Now obviously you don't want everybody to be able to have access to this command. So what we do here now is if ctx.author.guild permission dot administrator we press tab and we want to do the same basically no oh, no well yeah Let's just put this bad boy a little bit down. And yeah, this should work. This will remove this will remove the roles and this will add the roles. Obviously you wanna have your own errors, you know you wanna handle your errors in case somebody does not put the right user, they don't put the right role. One of the actually no, no no no. For example, if the the person does not have administrator or something maybe you, you might want to handle it handle the error by saying that you do not have administrator uh, you know something like that but uh, for now we're just gonna keep this basic we're not gonna handle the errors that might pop up um but yeah I think I'll add this to a to a repository, you just go to my go to my uh, my repository page. It is called CLVRK. But uh, saved and ready, locked and loaded. Python. And I, I am very talkative. I'm really sorry for that. Test.py. Yeah. This bad boy should work. Now if you want to make it a little bit fancier, you could do await ctx.message dot uh, add reaction 
Um, and you could just put like a check mark here or something to you know signify that the role has been removed. But there is already a message that says that it is removed, so you don't have to do that. Just makes it look nicer. But uh. Let's go to my test server. And we want to give Roklu the admin. Uh, add bro. Foodbot is probably going to be faster because, you know, it, it's actually being hosted rather than self-hosted. But we'll see which one gets to it first. For now, I'm just going to take off its rank. And, oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, just take off its rank and it, it'll be fine. Um, add role. If we do it in this manner of direction... I've really been trying to find a word to signify that, but God. Okay, so give. We can use a ping. We can use their ID. We can use anything, but we're just gonna use the ID for now. And let's say I want to give Roklu admin. Adroll admin. So I'm just gonna give him the name and I'm going to give him the ID. So. Let's just make sure. Successfully given admin to Roku. Works like a charm, as I said. Roku now has admin, and we can remove the role now. We regret our actions, and Roku's being demoted. Remove role. Admin Roku. And it does not work. Um, what is it called? Remove. Remove admin. Roku. Uh, oh yeah, I've already put it in. There we go. Roku has successfully been demoted and the command works. As I said before, you can handle the errors and it should be fine be golden but yeah you know if you just want to see the see the code there the second version I was talking about is just something I cooked up stuff in special um, I didn't know how to do this before this is a way better way better version of doing it um, I really recommend using this. Most of the, the top Discord PY bots that have the utility commands like this probably do use the same method. Maybe a little bit different than me, but definitely the same. As in code. Um, but yeah, for example, if you put the user first, these are all just arguments if you put user first like add role uh, uh, let's use this this person for example uh, and then we pass in the role uh, role is admin it's not gonna work because we put we, yeah, it's going to say role is not found because role is first, role is before user. Just a, little, just a little bit of explanation. This is how it works. Role is going first, then user, and that's how it works. Understand? Um, just like argument one, it has... It doesn't mean anything, so therefore you can just do, you can just do, has any role, roles, I mean, don't, don't actually use this, but, you know, 
format arg one stuff like that I think you get the idea by now I don't want to over over explanation over explain but I really want people who under I really want people who watch my videos to understand like you know don't don't go into the the tutorial hell don't keep watching tutorials like this once you understand what's going on you can be able you can make more commands and do what you need to do without having to I do recommend actually learning Python the basics and all that instead of doing all these tutorials I mean even if you know this stuff you will need tutorials it's, you just can't you just can't um, avoid it right um, yeah also you can join the discord py server join my server you can add my bot to your server do what you want but I hope I helped in this video and yeah bye